celebrity family fortunes with Britain's top five agony arts. From the Sunday Mirror, Claire Rayner. From TV Times, Katie Boyle. From the Daily Mail, Marjorie Proofs. From Woman, Virginia Ironside. And from The Sun, Deirdre Sanders. And the Good Morning Britain team from TV AM. Nick Owen. Weather girl, Wincy Willis. John Stapleton. Keep it girl, Lizzie Webb. And Anne Dunn. All here to play Family Fortune. And here is your host. Max Bygrave. Ah, oh, what a reception. This is our Christmas show, and tonight the big money stands at £2,000. And the people that are going to win it are the lovely celebrities you've just met on camera there and the TVAM team. We're going to play for all this money tonight, but it's not going to the families. They have decided to give it away to a local charity. And the charity is right here in Nottingham where we're doing the show. They're going to give this money if they win it to the Crocus Fields Home for Mentally Handicapped. And... And the TVAM team are going to give it to the Cherry Home, also for the mentally handicapped children. All right? So we are going to play Family Fortune. <laughs> and first of all, I want to ask you a question. Who is this lady here? Ma, Ma I'm just doing that because in spite of the commercials, you'll know that nine out of ten people can tell Marge from Butter. <laughs> Claire, how are you, sweetheart? I'm all right, how are you? You're you looking look... all right. Mm. I feel good, yeah. Mm. Take your part. <laughs> it's good. Is it good? Yeah, you're all right. Because you weren't always a writer, were you? You yeah, used no, to no, be no. a nurse of some kind. And a midwife. And a midwife, mm. did you? And Whereabouts? It's... Well, down by the docks, Guy's. Guy's Hospital in London. Oh, mm. yeah, I lived near there. Yeah. What was the biggest uh, baby? Yeah, that, yes. Now, now I look at you, I... Yes. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't deliver me, did you? No, but there were an awful lot of babies who were very pretty around the docks in those days. What was the mm. biggest baby you ever delivered? I won't forget him. It was only the second baby I delivered. He weighed 11 pounds, 11 ounces, and I was terrified. 11 pounds, 11 ounces? His mum was fine. It was me that was in trouble. <laughs> yes, he was a big boy. Mm. Good God. That's oh, a big birth, isn't it? Yeah. What did you do? Did you, did you have a normal birth, or did you launch it? <laughs> <laughs> I whistled. <laughs> whistled. Lovely. Katie, do you know how long it is ago since we, since we met? It's a long time ago, and I've changed my relationship with you because then I was your mother. You were, weren't you? We did the command performance together, That's and you played right. the part of my mother. Yes. And the reason for this was that Jack Hilton was supposed to have got married again. That's right. And it was legend that Jack Hilton always had young birds. I was his mother-in-law. That's right. Mother oh, my goodness, what a, what a family I did and have. And you know, Katie, you haven't changed one bit. And you're pretty You look pre beautiful. You're pretty, too. <laughs> oh, <I'm not> pretty. <laughs> Marge, it's almost 20 years ago since I wrote a song about you. Do you remember that? Yes, yeah, do. do you? Yes, I, I, re I remember the words. Uh, it was um, about you having a baby, wasn't it? No, it was... Uh, <laughs> yes, it was. You were pregnant at the time. <laughs> oh. Yes, no, I right? wasn't yes, pregnant. No. Right. I sure had the song were. with me, but I've left it in the dressing room. I wish I... <laughs> And it was a lovely song. I wish I, I wish I'd remembered it. I couldn't remember it. Oh dear, I, I felt written it. Not there, you know. Virginia, Hello. you weren't always an agony aunt, were you? You used to write pop, didn't you? And all that sort of... Uh, yes, I did. I had yeah. a column in the 60s, which That's was right. all, all about that scene. And you used to review records, didn't That's you? That's right, yes. And who did you meet in those days? Who, who... Oh, you name them, I met them. Did the you really meet Stones, the Beatles? The Beatles, yes. The Rolling Stones? Yes. Yeah. yes. When yes. you met the Beatles, who impressed you most of all? Oh, well, John Lennon, of course, really? but I was so nervous when I met him, I could hardly get my questions out. I was <laughs> wobbling at the knees. <laughs> Did you ever save any of those records from the 60s? Yes, I've got a lot at home still. Did you save any of mine? You weren't making records in the 60s, were you? I was. <laughs> I had the deck of cards. <laughs> and listen. <laughs> And Deirdre, you weren't always a writer. You have this enormous folly. All of you, there's the, the Sunday Mirror. Probably the biggest circulations in the world, these newspapers. When I tell people when I go to Australia and America that we have newspapers that have circulations of five and six million, they're astounded. But you weren't always a writer, were you? No, 
Um, well, I was, actually. Yes, I've always worked as a writer, but I had a, a brief spell when I decided maybe I ought to learn how to cope when the going gets tough. And I took myself off around South America. My Where was that? That was in Brazil. I don't remember being in Brazil. <laughs> 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 well, go, go over to the TV. Hello, Nick. How are you, son? I'm very well, thank you, Good. sir. Good, nice to see you. Nick, you're with TVAM. You have to get up very early in the morning. What, about what time do you get up? Get up about 3 o'clock. And what's the worst part of that particular job? I'm sure you can understand. Can you imagine seeing this lot at 4 o'clock every morning? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you weren't always in TVAM, were you? No, I was at Central Television before that, doing sport and, you, and things yeah, like that. Yeah, of course you were brought in for when David Frost went on. That's his it, way, didn't yes. You? Not Anna Ford. No. <laughs> <laughs> and Wincy, you do most of the weather forecasting, don't you? That's right. Well, I present it. I won't take credit for forecasting. But you do a lot of it, don't you? I, I was noticing it this morning. When I knew you were all coming on, I, I'd been watching TV AM, and what a wonderful program Thank it is. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure that millions of people around the country are missing a hell of a... Why, why don't they uh, record it in the morning, put together about an hour of it, and show it in the evening? It's don't, so don't good. Don't encourage them to do that. They don't count in the rating. <laughs> 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 John, you were, um, no, you were not always with uh, TVAM. What did you do? Because you, you were in sport. No, no, I was, I was at the uh, Thames Television, first of all, and then at, uh, then at the BBC. I went and then, across to TVAM yeah. about three or four months ago. How far do you live from TVAM? Do you have long journeys? Uh, about 12 miles, but at that time in the morning, at 3 o'clock in the morning, it's a uh, pretty speedy Nothing, journey, as you can imagine. Nothing, yes, yeah. It's a joy. Get across London so quickly. <laughs> How's then, the circus doing this Christmas, by the way, Max? This, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's the only thing I could think of Christmassy. Yeah. And why haven't you got a jacket tasteful, on? Very tasteful. Yeah. We, we, we give you a casual approach every morning. Mm -hmm. you know, the Lizzie, TV. I love your, I love your uh, exercises in the morning. Do you do them? Yes, I, I don't do them. No, well, I... <laughs> You're not meant to I mean, watch. You're meant to do them. them. <laughs> yeah, but you, yeah, I didn't believe the human body can do things that you make it do. Well, you should try it and see. <laughs> you see it before the <laughs> <laughs> You're not filleted, are you? <laughs> <laughs> And now, and up, and down, and up, and, and, and in. And, and how are Merry you? Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, yeah. And you look, you look absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you very much. I wish I was five Christmas. years younger. Well, I <laughs> <laughs> Listen, before, before you were TVAM, you were a newsreader, weren't you? Yes, I was. And yeah. this is a novelty for me because you don't often see newsreaders above the waist, do you? No, I've got some. I mean, poor Angela there. Ripon went on the Morecambe and Wise show. I thought she was on Casters. <laughs> Lots of people think <laughs> yeah, that. No. Let's play Family Fortune, shall we? Yeah. Come along, girls. Here we go, Nick and Claire. Now, let me tell you something. When the show goes on tonight, Usually, we have what they call hidden prizes. And we give away fridges and cutlery and radio sets. But tonight, to help the charity, every time you get to a hidden prize, the prize money will go up by another hundred pounds. And that will go up. All right, let it clear. All right. Right, we surveyed 100 people. They gave us answers. The top answers are now going up on the board. Eight answers. When you think you know the answer, Hit the buzzer, and... <laughs> Are we all ready? All right. Name the first thing you put on in the morning. Claire. We sock stockings. Your stock stockings. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. Your stocking, says Claire, yes. Socks and yes. Very good, very good. But it's not the top answer, so Nick can have a go. What's the first thing you put on in the morning? Do I have to tell you? Yeah. Underpants. <laughs> Nick puts on his underpants. Yes, number one. Yeah, don't go. <laughs> Already you've won yourself another hundred pounds. A hundred pounds extra. What will you do, Nick? Will you play? Yeah. We'll play. Yeah, play. Excuse us, Claire, won't you? All right. Isn't it easy? Easy. You're all so worried about it. You've got to tell people such personal things as that. <laughs> Wincy, name the first thing you put on in the morning. It can't be those. <laughs> It's only the other thing, isn't it? Bra. <laughs> Your bra, all right. Wincy puts on the bra. Yes, number seven. Very good, very good. Have a discussion, talk about it, because you might, you might steal the money. Don't wear one myself, but I guess most people might say vest. A vest. A vest. 
Lizzie? Well, if it's winter, which it is now, how's about a dressing gown? Yes, that's a good idea. A dressing gown, says you. <laughs> yes, Lizzie! <laughs> and congratulations, you've also won £100. That also goes on the, uh, on the prize money. And I'm following on, on Lizzie's idea that people have actually got the time to think about this. Slippers. Slippers, yeah, good idea. Are slippers up there? Yes, they are indeed. <laughs> and... You have won yourselves another hundred pounds. That's very good. You haven't got them all yet. There's still three answers to go. Name something you put on in the morning. First thing. Shirt. A shirt. A shirt. Yes. A shirt. <laughs> it's a hairy hurt. A shirt. Um, oh dear. Well, I'll say trousers. Trousers, In yeah. General. Trousers, says, uh, no, it's not there. Keep working, girls, because you might have a good, uh, John? We've got some funny people in the survey who go around without trousers on in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can only think, uh, Max, you've gone through slippers, I can, I can only think shoes. Shoes, yeah. Shoes, do shoes go on in the morning? No, girls, have you arrived yeah. at anything? Kettle what? for a cup of tea. Uh, yes, a good idea. A kettle for a cup of tea. No! <laughs> But that was a very good answer, Claire. I would have come up with something like that. Let's see what the answers are. Six was radio, and number five was specs. <laughs> Let's play round two, shall we? Come along, come along, Katie. There we go. All right then. There's eight answers coming up on the board. Now forget zoos. Don't include zoos. We asked 100 people to name any animal that lives wild in the United Kingdom. You got it there. Fox. I mean, a fox. A fox. Yes, number one answer. And another hundred pounds. What will you do? Will you play or will you pass? Play. You'll play, yes. Yeah, play. Use that. <laughs> All right, John. An animal that lives wild in the United Kingdom. Deer. A deer. A deer. Yes, number four. A badger. A badger, yes, it does. A badger. Yes, number three. And another hundred pounds, Lizzie. That goes right on the money. You're going to make some wonderful money tonight for these lovely kids. And? <gasps> squirrel. A squirrel, yes. A squirrel. Yes. Still got four to go, though. Nick? A rabbit. A rabbit, yes. A rabbit. A r yes, a rabbit's up there. Still three more, Wincy. Ah, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> um, snake. Snakes. snakes yeah, let's try snakes, shall we? Snakes! <laughs> oh, one life has gone. Keep talking, girls. Yeah. Um, am I allowed, having had a rabbit, am I allowed a hare? Hair? Let's try hair, shall we? Hair! <laughs> no! Is he? No, you mustn't discuss. Oh, no! no. Oh, oh, yeah. What about a mouse? A mouse. I'll try a, a mouse. No! All you have to do is come up with one there and you want... Otters, yes, otters. Yes! Oh, <laughs> and an extra hundred pounds to go on there. I hope somebody's keeping stock of all this. Here are the missing answers. Number eight was... A easel? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Chalk it up. <laughs> and then number seven was... A stoat. <laughs> All right, let's play round three, shall we? Marjorie and John. There's eight answers up on the board this time. And it's, uh, ready, Marjorie? Yes, yes. Yeah? Good. Good luck. Fancy winning that after all, they got all the, uh, answers. Yeah, yeah. The snake that let you down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Name a personal habit that irritates other people. You nearly had your hand there at that moment, I didn't know, you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What is it, Mark? Snoring. Snoring, yeah. Snoring. Yeah, snoring. And an extra hundred pounds. Don't go. There's another habit higher than that that it irritates other people. Can I be really rude? <laughs> no. Nose picking. Nose picking is oh, what nose I was picking. 
Nose pick. <laughs> <laughs> will you play or will you pass? You'll play. Okay, we'll we'll play, play, we'll play, we'll play. Yeah. All right, go back to your place, Marjorie, and I'll go up to Virginia here. Virginia? Sniffing. Sniffing, yes. A personal habit that irritates other people. Sniffing. Yes, you are right. Theatre, a personal habit that irritates other people. Smoking. Smoking, yes, it does indeed. Smoking. Yes, and another hundred pounds. Oh, isn't that lovely? Another hundred pounds. Claire, what do you suggest? Making nasty smells. <laughs> oh, it's very irritating. I know it is. <laughs> very personal. <laughs> Up like. What are they going to put? Yes, well, I mean, how can you put it? Yes. <laughs> We're going to watch. Um, aromas. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Katie. Slurping. 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 Slurping, says Katie. <laughs> no. Keep talking, you might, might come up with it there. Mark. Inter interrupting. Interrupting, yes. Interrupting. <laughs> no, it isn't. Nick, have you got any ideas? A personal habit that irritates other people. Vince is telling me to hang on. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Noisy eating. Noisy eating. Is noisy eating there? <laughs> no, you've won the money. Look at that. Look. 88 pounds. Yeah, I'll tell you what the others are. Don't worry, I'm not going. <laughs> Number eight was... Scratching. <laughs> It should be scratching. I know it should be scratching. <laughs> Number seven is untidiness. Number six was clicking fingers. Number five was teeth grinding. And the number one answer was nail biting. There you are. Doesn't it? We'll be back in a couple of minutes because now we're going for a commercial. And join us afterwards and we'll play for double money, which leads up to the £2,000. <laughs>
And welcome back to Family Fortune. Marge, I found that song I wrote to you over 20 years ago. It goes, Dear Marjorie Proops, I'm sending this letter to you. Dear Marjorie Proops, help me please Marjorie do. My sister is having a baby. I think it is due in the spring. The father has gone off and taken her bike and she misses his old ding-a-ling. <laughs> Today. Could have been a hit, couldn't it? <laughs> Listen to the second verse. Granddad is also a problem. He's done something that we all feared. He's just joined a nudist camp somewhere in Kent. Thank goodness he's got a long beard. <laughs> I didn't win the Songwriters Award that year. So. <laughs> I just tell you, the Agony Aunts so far have won themselves extra three hundred pounds. The TVAM, they've won themselves five hundred pounds extra. And I said at the beginning of the show that each team were giving their money towards the different charities. They're not. They're pooling it together, and we're splitting it right down the middle and sending it both to the mentally handicapped home. Play number four, shall we? Game number four. That's Lizzie and Virginia. <laughs> All right, girls, how are you? Good. All right, six answers on the board. Name a food you smell to be sure it's fresh. <coughs> Lizzie, you just got it. Cheese. Cheese. Is cheese up there? Yes. <laughs> Not the top answer, though. Not the top answer. Virginia. Fish. Fish, I would think so, yes. I don't know the answers, you know. I just, I just get the questions. I'm surprised as you are, some of these. Fish, says Virginia. Yes, number one answer. And you've won yourself an extra hundred pounds. What will you do, Virginia? Play or pass? Play. Play. Play, play, yeah, all right. Excuse us, girls, won't you? All right, Deirdre. Um, one answer gone, five to go. Name a food you smell to be sure it's fresh. Meat. Meat, yes. Meat, says Deirdre. Yes. And you have won hundred pounds. Oh, isn't that marvellous, Claire? Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Mm. Yes. Fruit, says Claire. No. Why not? Claire? Why not? I, I don't, don't know, know why. I, I am surprised. I'm more surprised than you are. I'm shocked. <laughs> Would you call wine fruit, um, food? Yes. Yes, I guess so. Wine. Yes. You, yes. You. No. Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't call it food, no. <laughs> Try to think, girls, that this is not what you would require. This is what a hundred people answered. Marjorie? Uh, sauce. Sauce, yeah. Sauce, says Marjorie. No, it isn't. Nick, something you would smell to be sure it's fresh. Butter. Butter. Butter, are you up there? <laughs> no, it isn't. You've won the money. Now, what would you believe you'd have to smell to make sure that number five is bread? Number four is cream, I would agree. Yeah. I'm not so sure about bread, are you? <laughs> Three is eggs. How can you smell eggs? Oh, yeah, when they're broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, let's play round five, shall we? Sorry about that. <laughs> and... That was a toughie, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. All right. All right, clear the board. Seven answers coming up on the board. We asked 100 people to name a famous inventor. <coughs> Deirdre. A famous... Bell. Bell. Mm. ding a ling a ling <coughs> Yes. Bell. 100 pounds you won yourself there. Come here, Deirdre. What will you we, do, honey? We, will you play? We play. You we play, play. Will you? We All right. All right. Excuse us, Anne. All right, Claire, it's up to you again. Marconi. Marconi, indeed. Marconi is an... Yes. <laughs> and, Claire, another hundred pounds oh, to go God. on the kitty. That was a good answer. That Pas was... Pasteur. Pasteur. Louis Pasteur. Pasteur, is he up there? No, he isn't. No. One of those foreigners. You know. what, what was the question again? I forgot. I'll give you the question again. We asked 100 people to name a famous inventor. Inventor. No, you don't discuss it, did you? Fleming. Fleming, yeah. Who's Fleming? Fleming! No. 
Stevenson. Penicillin. Who? Stevenson. Stevenson, yes. So that should get a rocket. Yes, it is. It is indeed, yes. Stevenson. Deirdre, a famous inventor. We got uh, Mr. Bell, Marconi, and Stevenson. Yes, got any ideas? Edison. Edison, yes, indeed he was. Edison, yes, Thomas Edison. <laughs> Don't forget this is for double money, you know. Double money. Ooh. Clear? Are oh, we still going? Yes, still going. Are oh, we still yeah. going? Uh, yes, there's um, three answers to go, oh, you see. I didn't know we were, we were still going. The, 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 um, hang on, they'll come to me in any minute now, because she's sitting at the back of my head. Yeah. <laughs> Don't keep scratching, you'll get a splinter. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, the spinning Jenny. Um, the man who invented it. <laughs> Crapper! Uh, uh, Thomas Crapper! Thomas Crapper, yes, yeah! Course, Thomas Crapper! <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm glad that word was back in then. <laughs> Nick. Bad, I think. Beard. Bad. Logie Baird, are you up there, Logie? Yes, John Logie Baird. Yes. <laughs> And the missing inventors. Number seven is Frank Whittle, jet engine. And six, Barnes Wallace. Yes, another famous man, yeah? See, hang around, you learn. Yeah. All right, let's play round number five. No, six. Six. Yeah, Nick can play round number six now. Yep. Yeah. All right, four answers only on the board. Don't forget, this is all going up to double money, and the first one that goes through the £300 barrier plays for the big money. OK? Get the idea now? All right. Four answers on the board. Name something husbands borrow from wives. Yes, Claire. Hairspray. Hairspray. They borrow their hairspray. Yeah. Mine does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got one. Oh, has he? <laughs> Get moved. Hair dryer. Hair dryer. They borrow their hair dryers. Yes, they do. <laughs> Will you play or pass? Pass out. Play, play. play. Excuse us, play. yes. All right. Come, Wincy. Name something husbands borrow from their wives. Money. 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 Yes, number one answer. And talking of money, you've won another hundred pounds. Good heavens, John. You're not allowed to tell. No, no, Only they can sort. You can't cheat for charity. Of course you can, can't you? <laughs> what about the car? Um, the car. The car. They borrow the car. They borrow the car. No, the car is not there. Lizzie. Then think and go and up Ooh, and. They're combs. They're combs. Yeah, uh, they're combs. They borrow. Yeah. What an unbelievable, and another hundred pounds. Oh, good heavens, that's lovely. And one to go. Shall Keep talking, because you've got a great chance. Okay. You've got the ideas, Abby? All right. Uh, uh, I'm going to try shampoo. Shampoo. They borrow their shampoo. <laughs> no, oh, you've got one more to go, Nick. Oh. Yes. Husbands borrow it from their wives. I was thinking of tights on a cold day, but that's not my answer. <laughs> <laughs> Lipstick, I can't admit to that. <laughs> Checkbook. Their checkbook. They borrow their checkbook. <laughs> no, they don't. Clear. What deodorant. Do you... They borrow their deodorant. Do they? <laughs> yes, they do indeed. Yes. <laughs> and girls, you have gone through the three hundred pound barrier. Well, I'm afraid that the uh, agony ants have beaten the TVAM. Here's a picture taken just before the show, and we're going to send this to the handicapped children. Thanks again. You will stay, will you? And just watch the girls and boys. Right. The yeah. girls. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Come on. Who's going in the box? Who's going to play for big money? Come on, then. That's lovely. Uh, go down. Now, one of you has to go into the box. Who's it going to be? Is it nice Claire? and quiet in there? It's quiet in there, and it's very <laughs> dark, there. and you put the headphones on so as you can't hear what we're saying, and they'll play some of my tapes. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> I, I'm going to. <laughs> right. First contestant, you have 15 seconds. The clock does not start ticking until after I've asked the first question. OK? All right. Here we go. The big money. Something you do only because it's good for you. Um, um, 
I go to church. It's found in the glove compartment of a car. A, a door, a torch. Something worn in cold weather. Gloves. Any flavour of soup. Uh, asparagus. Any famous golfer. Nicholas. Yeah. Uh, Nicholas. Did you get it? Okay, Katie. Let's see how you did. I said to you, name something you do only because it's good for you. You couldn't think of anything, so you yeah. had to pass, didn't you? Oh, no, no you said church. Church, church, and the survey said? No, no nothing. No. I said, name something found in the glove compartment of a car. You said a torch. Good answer. Survey said 15. I said, something worn in cold weather. You said gloves. The survey said 24. That's pretty good. I said... She's uh, maintaining her composure. Oh, no, she dropped the golden ball. Lucky not to get I said Nicholas, Nicholas yeah. and it was just out. No, so you had to pass. Anyway, okay. you made 39. Now, let's see what Pia does, eh? Pia the ball! Yes, same question. We want the top answers. You get 20 seconds because it's slightly harder. So as soon as I've asked the first question, the clock starts ticking, but don't get fooled because it's quite a long time. Don't rush right. it. Take your time on it. You hear this noise, it means that it's been answered before, so give me another answer, will okay. you? Okay, right. Here we go. Name something you do only because it's good for you. Diety. Something found in the glove compartment of a car. A map. Something worn in cold weather. Uh, a scarf. Any flavour of soup. Tomato. Any famous golfer. Oh, Arnie Palmer. Arnold Palmer, yes, he is indeed. Oh. Yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah, very good. Very good. That's not right. Turn around. Don't move up too far. Let's see. Um, let's see how you did. I said, name something you do only because it's good for you. You said, dieting, and the survey said, eighteen. Oh. That's very good. Very good. Very good. Then I said. Name something found in the glove compartment of a car. You said map, and the survey said 47. Very good, very good. Good. Something worn in cold weather. You said scarf, and the survey said 23. Oh, dear. You're going great. Yeah, you're going. I'll, I'll count up. Don't worry. I said any flavor of soup. You said tomato, and you got the top answer for that. That was 49. <laughs> If you had said exercise at the top there, that's yeah. 31. If you said, well, you said maps, that's 47. And if you said, uh, well, you see, you've got all the top answers. The last one is around the last, uh, what are you, 176? You've got to yeah. make now, what, 24? I said, name any famous golfer. And you said Arnold Palmer, and the survey said... Tonight you have won yourselves three thousand nine hundred and eighty pounds. All for handicap home. Oh, marvelous! Good night, Anne. Thank you very much. Nick, bye bye, John. Thanks for coming. Bye, Anne. Then shout it out, it's not that hard to win a fabulous holiday. Join in with the classic, it's catchphrase on the home of Play Along TV, Challenge.